Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on XHB, which is a spider of the home builder sector. Um, I've done XLF a few times, and that's uh, the spider for the financial sector. Um, I did this one a while back, and the reason I did was with the home builders, uh, we all know that's a good indication of what you're doing, and um, the housing sector is what got us into this whole month, or excuse me, whole mess. Uh, they were uh, kind of so to say the the first domino to fall and from there everything else just kind of snowballed so I like to track this one just because I'm a big believer that along with the financials however the home builders are doing that's also going to dictate what when the overall economy is really going to start to um, you know come out of things because the you know the homes um, the whole a mortgage mess, all that stuff that has to do with the housing industry is what got us into this mess, and I think they're going to be the ones along with the financials to get us out. But then again, the whole housing sector is influencing the financials, so you could make the argument that financials are depending on this sector, the housing sector, to really pull things out. So depending on how you want to take the argument, uh, you could go with either way, uh, but the point being, uh, I'm a firm believer that the home builders and just the housing sector um, is going to be one of the key things to monitor if you want to get an idea of you know how the market's going to be going and so forth and rightfully so if you look at this chart you can see it's been going right in line with the market and it would be my argument that this is helping to push up the market so when um, this chart is having uh, good periods I think the rest of the market will too because that means the housing sectors um, you know the perception of it's getting better therefore the overall market's going to be getting better so um, Sure, the housing sector has work to do, but this is more of a perception type thing, and clearly the past month of July has been nice perception in terms of uh, the housing industry and so forth. So let's dig into the chart here. I, you get what I'm saying. Um, like everything else, back in early March, home builders decided to bottom out, and just like the rest of the market bounced, but in my opinion, this is the reason the market bounced because the perception for the home builders and so forth started to get better. So for this I'm going to concentrate more on a shorter term time frame here. But as you can see, once again, like the rest of the market, slowing down a little bit right here, um, but nonetheless still nicely above our moving averages. And one of the key things that I'm liking on this one is if you look at the 200 day still moving average, it is starting to go flat. So let me, actually let's do this. If you look at the weekly, you can see that all these key moving averages, especially the 50 week, has just been uh, down. You know, it's been uh, not even close to going flat anywhere, really. But now you look on the daily, and not only is the 50 period going upwards now, we're also getting the 200 day. So let me zoom in a little closer. If you look really, really close, it is technically starting to uptrend. Uh, sure, we'd like to see a little bit better than that, but. Uh, the point being it is going up and um, that's the right direction we want to see this headed so um, keep your eye on that and the more and more that begins to curl up uh, the better I think just the whole market is going to uh, continue to rise and gain momentum and strength now let's take a look at a pullback situation what levels would we want to see it hold well, if you watched my S&P 500 video yesterday, you know that I highlighted basically the same spot on the chart where it peaked out uh, here from back in May. So this was a resistance, and obviously here it was broken. So technical analysis 102 and 101, resist, or resistances become supports. So that's what's happened here. Uh, and the other good thing that's happening right now is actually the 10-day simple moving average is holding up pretty well. Um, will that hold? I'm not quite sure. but uh, just seeing that it's putting up a fight like this uh, is encouraging to see. We also have the 20-day simple moving average sloping upwards nice. So um, by the time it would pull back here, I'm guessing the 20-day would be right around this price here. Um, and these prices aren't necessarily important, so just know this line, this is where we want to see it hold. Um, it's more of the shape of the pattern right now. I, not, I know not too many people actually trade the XHB, so this is more just kind of a chart to go over the overall economic because I like I was saying in the f first lecture of this you know uh, video I feel that this is a big economic kind of indicator so I uh, don't worry about prices necessarily but just more of pattern flows and um, what the actual kind of appearance of the chart is 
the other line I want to get pointed out and show is this uptrend line. I'm going to make this extra thick, make it green because this is our support trend line. But the point I want to show with this is that in the overall grand scheme of things since March, um, we're doing very well in terms of the housing sector and therefore the overall market. Um, so we could fall quite a bit of a ways and technically if we're looking at a longer term pattern, so this right here is taking into account one, two, three, four, about five months. So looking at the overall five month trend, it is up. So we could, you know, technically go here and then fall all the way down and then hopefully bounce right off this trend line. And then if we head back up, then we're still in this overall uptrend. So uh, the point I'm making here is the overall context is very bullish right now, just based on this trend line. We had the great move here that we all remember. Then we had this period here where people, you know, if you're watching TV, some were saying, you know, this is just a healthy pullback. Others are saying, oh, we're doomed. Here comes the big collapse that we were talking about. And then sure enough, the people that said this is a healthy pullback were right as we re rebounded up and not only rebounded up, also broke above that high. So um, technically, if this line does fall, fail here, you do have these moving averages below you. But in the grand scheme of things, we still have our um, kind of sugar daddy trend line right here that will hopefully hold us up in any sort of drastic move downwards. Now, the other thing I want to point out is for short term, like I was saying on the S&P 500, the MACD is getting close to a bearish downwards crossover. Uh, these two lines have gotten closer to each other, showing that momentum has slowed down. And the RSI 5 is starting to slope downwards. That's showing strength is uh, running low right now. Um, these are just momentum indicators, so it's not you know predicting you know a collapse of the home builders, which will lead to another collapse of the market. Uh, by no means am I, that's what I'm saying. But in the short term, uh, I'm a believer that I think we will head down and give this uh, support trend line uh, a test. If we don't, then that's fine by me. But the way these indicators are looking, uh, we may need to have a little uh, cool off here in the short run. Um, if this doesn't hold, then like I said, we still have the uh, middle Bollinger Band, the 20-day simple moving average, same thing. And we also have the 50-day sloping upwards here too. Um, so plenty of support below us if we do decide to pull it back and cool off. But just to end on this note, in the grand scheme of things, Remember, this was uh, about a you know couple month little pullback here, but look how healthy it was. This pullback led to this move here of making a new high. So even if we do start to pull back here, you know what? Just remember, EX example. This example right here is just great to show what pullbacks can do for the overall trend of charts. So um, you know keep that in mind. Keep a, a, a good perspective on things. Uh, sure, if you're a, a short-term player, then yeah, maybe you're, you should be thinking about going short here for the next couple of weeks or so. But if you're a long-term player, just remember, what, what is the overall context for the past five months? And it is an uptrend. So uh, don't lose perspective on things. That wraps up the home builders. Uh, hopefully the housing sector continues to bounce. Hopefully this chart continues to go up. And uh, I think this will lead us out of any sort of recession, depression, whatever you want to call it that we're in and make starting to make a recovery out of. I would also encourage you to look down at the post for the free ebook. If you uh, click on that, you will be sent to bullmarketnewsletter.net. And if you sign up for the newsletter there, um, you will be on um, the free email list, which gets uh, trading ideas, trading setups, um, bullish chart setups, all that stuff. It's all free. And you also get a free ebook with it. Um, so it's worth at least checking out. No strings attached. It is all free. Uh, we've been having some good success with winners. And uh, stuff lately, we actually just had one where we gave a trading idea at right around 80 cents, and today the stock hit a dollar 39. So that was a good about 60% gain or so for our subscribers. So it's uh, worth worth uh, signing up for and checking out. Um, and like I said, it's all free. So if you have any questions on the uh, XHB chart, which is you know lightly put the housing sector chart, good one to follow. Uh, shoot me a message, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for listening.